Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam wa jama'in. Allahumma fa'ni bima alamtani wa alimni bima yanfa'ni wa zidni alman innaka antal aliyun hakim. My topic today is about the differential diagnosis of macrocephaly, common diagnosis, less common diagnosis, and the rare causes and a close to the diagnosis. The common causes of uh, macrocephaly is benign extracranial collection of infancy, hydrocephalus, child abuse. Key to differential diagnosis Measurement of the head circumference is part of typical will child check. Macrocrania is defined as head circumference more than 95 percentile. Determin determinants of head circumferences, brain size, cerebral spinal fluid, volume, and subdural spaces. Benign intracranial collection of, of infancy, also known as benign hydrocephalus of infancy or external hydrocephalus, and it is characterized by excessive cerebral spinal, spinal fluid in the subarachnoid space and macrocephaly. Excessive fluid is more abundant overlying the frontal lobes, often family history of macrocephaly, normal long-term development, and no additional risk of hydrocephalus. Extracranial collection resolve by two years of age. Here we see uh, there is a dilatation of the external CSF spaces in the frontal region by ultrasound. Another patient, benign extracranial collection of infancy, T2 weighted images, shows the prominence of the extra axial fluid collection in the bifrontal region and around the falx. Patient has no neurological deficit. Hydrocephalus incidence has declined along with decrease of open neural defects. Two main types of hydrocephalus, either communicating or non-communicating. Communicating hydrocephalus is overproduction or under-resorption of the CSF. Obstructive hydrocephalus, intraventricular hemorrhage, aqueduct stenosis, and migration and abnormalities are some of the causes. A present with enlarged head crossing percentile may have sign of increase in the intracranial pressure and often treated with shunting. Here, patient with dilatation of the lateral ventricles and thinning of the cerebral uh, uh, cortex, patient with hydrocephalus and increase in tracheal pressure. This is a MRI fetogram and dilatation of the lateral ventricles and coronal cuts with some thinning of the cerebral cortex. Child abuse, cranial trauma is most common cause of death in abused child. Most common cause of head trauma in children less than two years. Mechanism of injury, shaking, 
and impact. Evaluation includes skeletal survey and head CT scan. Findings, skull fracture, subidural hematoma of different ages, and brain edema. Here we see axial non-contrast CT scan, bilateral frontal subidural hematoma at different ages. Here, hypodense, and here more than hypodense in the chronic and subacute stage. And here, this is the membrane of the uh, membrane of the between two ages of subidural hematoma, and it is highly suggestive of uh, child abuse. Here are the MRI of the patient, and we see different ages of subidural hematoma compressing the cerebral cortex. In a child uh, uh, under two years of, all, uh, of age, highly suggestive of uh, child abuse. Less common causes, uh, neurofibromatosis type 1 and vein of garden aneurysm. The neurofibromatosis type 1, it is autosomal dominant disorder, affect about 1 over 3,000. Characteristic feature, K K4 or late macules, benign neurofibroma, plexiform neurofibromas, and iris hamartomas. In neurological findings, optic pathway glioma, seizures, headache, hydrocephalus, and macrocephaly. Risk for central nervous system tumor like astrocytoma, optic nerve glioma. Vein of gallon aneurysm or gallon aneurysmal malformation account to about 1% of all intracranial vascular malformation, 30% of vascular intracranial malformation in children. There is ectatic vascular structure uh, is median bosencephalic vein, not vein of gallon. Okay, is it due to direct communication between the arterial network and the median uh, prosencephalic vein? After birth, there is increase in the blood flow through the malformation. Up to 80% of left ventricular output may be supply the brain. Less lead this lead to increased cardiac output and heart failure, usually associated with other intracranial venous abnormalities. As we see here, there is uh, uh, hydrocephalus, it is obstructed by the dilated vein of gallium malformation in the axial and sagittal cuts. And here we see the direct communication between the uh, median uh, bosencephalic vein and uh, the arterial system. A rare cause is but important T Sachs disease, Alexander disease, Canavan disease, Crab disease and place in the room. TSX disease, it is autosomal recessive, more common in Ashkenazi Jewish, direct, direct deficiency. There is deficiency of beta hexosaminidase characterized by progressive weakness and loss of motor skills beginning at two to six months of age. Findings increase startle response, hypotonia, hyperreflexia, and cherry red macules. Progressive neurodegeneration with macrocephaly. Macrocephaly due to accumulation of GM2 
gangliocyte. Alexander disease, it is a demyelinating disorder characterized by Rosenthal fibers and usually sporadic disorder. We have three types, infantile, juvenile, and adult types. Infantile type is the most common type, and it is characterized by micro macrocephaly, psychomotor retardation, muscle weakness, biomedial tract signs, and seizures. Average age of onset is about six months. Juvenile form characterized by progressive varices, bulbal signs, and depressed reflex, reflexes. Average age of onset is, is about nine years. Adult form intermittent neurologic disorders similar to multiple uh, sclerosis. MRI frontal demyelinating uh, areas with cyst, ventricular megaly, and bore gray white matter differentiation. Here we see uh, flare images, axial MRI, bifrontal uh, hyper intensity is involving the white matter uh, of the frontal region with cysts. Here, the hyper intensity is involving the frontal region with uh, with uh, ventricular migraine and bore differentiation between cortex and the medulla. Uh, sorry, between cort between gray and white matter differentiation. Canavan disease, autosomal recessive disorder, more common in Ashkenazi Jewish, cause inborn error metabolism deficiency of aspartor, aspartor Achilles enzyme lead to increase in acetyl aspartate, characterized by spongy de de degeneration of the brain. Finding bore head control, macrocephaly, mental retardation, optic atrophy, and seizures. Here we see axial flare MRI in a child with increased signal in basal ganglia and, uh, uh, and thalamus, thalami, and uh, your fibers which is due to Canavan disease. Crab disease, it is autosomal recessive disorder characterized by severe myelin loss caused deficiency of lysosomal enzyme galactoceramidase. And we have two types, infantile and late onset the most common early infantile, about 90%. And here we see axial MRI increased signal in the central semi-ovale bilaterally associated with subcortical uh, U-fibers. Sorry, the subcortical U-fibers are spared, not like in the, in the Canavan disease. Here is the your fibers are involved in Canavan disease, but in the uh, in the crab disease are not involved. Lay syndrome, my mitochondrial disorder, a progressive central nervous system decline due to necrotizing lesion in the basal ganglia, dying cephalon, cerebellum, and the brain stem, caused by deficiency coenzymes Q or by rovate dehydrogenase. Onset infancy or early childhood. Symptoms, psychomotor retardation, nystagmus, ophthalmoparesis, ataxia, optic atrophy, dysphagia, weakness, hypotonia, 
acute respiratory failure is common. MRI characteristic bilateral symmetrical T2 weighted images, high balance in intensities noted in the basal ganglia, thalami, and substantia nigra. Cerebral lumps, spinal cord, and cerebral white matter also can be affected. Cortical atrophy can be present. present. Here we see a patient with uh, Lay syndrome. There is um, uh, involvement of the basal ganglia bilaterally, thalami, and very aqueductal area and substantia nigra. Thank you for listening. Hoping you are satisfied with this short talk about the causes of the macrocephaly and see you soon in another talk.